Greetings YouTube. Welcome back to Shondo RC. Uh, this week I had a subscriber come to me and ask, uh, how do you set up dual rates on a flying wing? Uh, he was having some adverse reactions setting up his rates where it was kind of interfering with his trims and such anytime he'd flip the switch. So today I'm going to show you how to set up dual rates on a flying wing. And it's, this isn't just for a flying wing, but this will work for any aircraft that you're flying. Uh, whether it be a fixed wing, a flying wing, or, or whatever. But it's fairly simple to do, and I'm just going to go through the fairly quick process of showing you how to do that. So let me power the radio Welcome on. Again, we're using OpenTX, and it doesn't matter which radio you're using. I'm using the uh, X10S. Um, you can use your Tyrannus, you can use your QX7, whatever it may be. It all still works the same way as long as you're running the OpenTX software. Uh, you can see I've got my wing selected. This is just a little Neptune wing. Uh, pretty little zippy little aircraft. It flies fast. It's extremely agile and touchy, so I had to tone this thing way down to be able to fly it. I don't have it on dual rates, but I'm going to set it up on dual rates today to show you how to do that so you can do it with your own. Okay, what you want to do is you want to go to your model pages, and you want to go ahead and you want to scroll all the way over to inputs. Okay, this is inputs. That's where you want to go ahead and make the changes to have dual rates set up on this aircraft. Uh, you don't want to go to mixer, because mixer kind of looks like this. You know, you've got two aileron channels and two elevator channels, and that's just a lot of work to go ahead and try to set up your uh, dual rates on that screen. And you do have adverse reactions when you do so, and you can interfere with things like trims and other things as well by messing with this page concerning dual rates. But we want to do it on the inputs page, you understand? And your input should always be set at 100%. Anytime you want to tone down, as I did if you look over here on Mixer, anytime you want to tone down the uh, throws on a flying wing or an aircraft, you can do that on the Mixer page. But your inputs page should always be 100%. That means you've got 100% uh, power available on, on a single throw, you know, as an you know when you're sending it to that aircraft and you make all of your adjustments here on this page to kind of tone down your throws but what that means is as you see mine are all set aileron and elevator set to 50 percent believe it or not that thing flies like it's set to 250 percent because it's real twitchy and real touchy moves around a lot but um what that means is i've got a hundred percent of that 50 percent so what we're going to do is we're going to change that over on the inputs page and set up dual rates so what you want to do, like if you want to set dual rates up on aileron or elevator, it doesn't matter. You usually set them up on both. Most people do. But it's just as simple as this. Let's do the, ele the aileron first. And if you look at my aileron and elevator, I've also got Expo at 70% in that thing. That's how touchy this aircraft is to fly. And I had to put Expo at 70% to make it at least uh, easy to control, especially on landing. So it's not ballooning, you know, and, and, and making it extremely hard to bring in. But uh, anyway, let's get at it. Uh, set up dual rates on a flying wing. You go to the inputs page. You select your aileron. You go ahead and hold it down long. And what we want to do is we want to hit copy. And we want to take your, your button or your wheel, whatever you have, and scroll it down. Okay, so what we've done is we've completely copied that channel, including the expo. So we'll still always have 70% Expo. Some of you may not run Expo at all. That's perfectly fine. This is not what this video is about. It's just simply about setting up dual rates. But what I want to do on this one here is I want to set up a dual rate so that I'm getting 100% of that 50% power that I've set it to on the mixer page uh, when it switches in a specific position. But I'm only going to do like 60% of that throw on a low rate to make it a little easier to control. So the top one is going to be set by default in your system. It is a global setting. It won't give up any space to the second one you do here unless you assign a switch to both of these. So what you're doing is you're basically saying I'm not I'm going to have 100% only if a switch is in a specific position. And on this one you're going to say I'm going to have my 60% only if a switch is in a specific position. So what we have to do is let's go ahead and set up our 60% first. So on the one we copied, we're going to long press. You're going to click edit. You're going to scroll down here where it says 100%. And we're going to back that off to 60.
All right, there's 60. Now we have to assign a switch. As for me, I'm going to use this switch right here, the SD switch. So then I'm gonna set it up to where when it is in the middle, I'm at 60%, and when I'm at the top, I'll be at 100%. So we'll scroll down to where it says switch, hit the button. Again, you can only make changes when things are blinking. I'll flip that SD switch to the middle. Radio automatically selects that. I'll hit enter again, and there we are. So when I back back out of that now, I can see that I have 100% on one on the Aileron. I have 60% for my low rate set to when my switch is at the middle, the SD switch. But in order for this to completely work, I also have to assign the same switch to this first one. So I have to take that SD switch and put it in a separate position, signifying that's where I want it to be for my high rate. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and long press, click edit. And in this case, all I have to do is go down to switch. So what I'll do is get it blinking, because that's the only time you can make changes. I'll flip my SD switch up because that's what I want it to be at when I'm in high rates. Hit enter. Back out of that. And we can see. Now when I'm in the up position on the SD switch, I've now told that channel that I can have 100% power supplied to that mixer channel or that servo or whatever or those servos when that switch is in the up position. When it's in the middle position, I'll have 60% on my ailerons. So that's how you set up dual rates on a specific channel. Up on the SD, 100%. Middle on the SD, 60%. Now you can assign any switch you'd like. It doesn't matter. Whatever you're comfortable with on your radio is perfectly fine. But what we do now is we go to our elevator, because we want our elevator also to be on a dual rate as well. We want the whole plane to change and be a little softer on a dual rate. So it's basically the exact same thing we did with aileron. Long press, copy, move it down, enter. Okay, we're going to change this to 60%. Edit, go down here to where it says 100, move it down to 60. Enter. Assign the switch. Same switch you did for the ailerons. If your ailerons are at 60% when that switch is in the middle, then your elevator should be also at 60% when it's in the middle. There's my switch. Hit enter. Back out of it. Go back up to the first one so I can assign the switch. Long press. Enter. Go down to the switch. Flip it up, enter, and you can see it over there on the screen now for the elevator. When I move that switch, that's high rates. When I move it to the middle, that's low rates. See how it's changing there? High rates, low rates, high rates, low rates. It's doing the same thing on the aileron channel now. So now I have successfully set up dual rates on a single switch that will control my flying wing. It'll control the elevator and the ailerons. Um, so you should be good to go with that. Um, it's fairly simple to do. Like I said, you don't do it on the, uh, do not do it on the um, mixer page because you could interfere with your trims and such, uh, which can cause some adverse reactions when you're flying. Uh, when you go to flip that switch and you go to uh, go from high rate to low rate or whatever your trims are going to be out and if you go from low rate to high rate your trims are going to be out i mean it's it, it just creates a mess so don't don't mess with that mixer page concerning doing any of the uh high rates and low rates i hope this helped you out um feel free to comment if you'd like to and uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next videos have a great day